Okay, I expect that the purpose of this problem is for the student to understand that when you're given side-side angle, like we are here, B is 1, A is 2, little a is 2, and this angle is not included between them, you have an ambiguous case. You could have 0, 1, or 2 triangles. So before you can find the area, you have to determine if, in fact, there is a triangle. And since this side A, opposite the given angle, is larger than H, which is this altitude, and it's also larger than B, A is larger than B, there really is only one triangle. You can picture this side, little a, kind of on a hinge for this angle right here. And if you start rotating that two around, it won't hit this side again. So there's only one triangle. So you have to use the law of sines to find the least side, little c, right here. Starting with this, the sine of 60 is to 2 as the sine of B, big B is to 1. Solve for angle B, which will be the inverse sine of whatever this number is. And it turns out you get 25.66 degrees. Then you can add the A and the B together, subtract from 180, you have angle C. Once you've got angle C, you can law, use the law of sines to find the side opposite angle C, 2.3. And once you've got that, you can use this formula for the area of the triangle. Area equals one half the product of the two sides that are given times the sine of the included angle. And that would be one half times B is one, C is 2.3, and the sine of 60 radical 3 over 2. Let you work that out. The reason this formula works is because if we look at this altitude, the sine of 60 is h over b, or h over 1, so h equals the sine of 60. <clears throat> and once you've got that, you could use the one half base times height, which results in this. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.